It is Michelle C. with another episode of Candid Kisses TV here on a Motivational Monday. And I'm going to do a quick inter... What's the word I'm looking for? Intro! That's what it is. It's candid for a reason, nigga, because I ain't going to none of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy here <laughs> is a singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, John Legend impressionist, <laughs> and stinky leg champion. Give it up <laughs> for my homie, <laughs> Phil... Watley of Ebony League. What's good? What's good? She is, that was a, a wonderful intro. I don't know who she's talking about. She's talking about <laughs> John Legend Impressionist. Well, that's definitely me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and drop out your uh, social media bars first so we can get that out the way. Um, social media. Oh, uh, Ebony League, um, I, uh, Instagram, and Ebony League Radio on Facebook. All right, so we're going to get into this first question. Okay. What inspired you to create Ebony League? Um, I was in school, uh, went to Morehouse, and I used to just get tired of people. Uh, the school itself would refer to us as uh, the Black Harvard or like Black Ivy League, and I just never liked that whole idea that in order for something to be good, you have to associate it with, with whiteness. So Ebony League was, I didn't invent the, the term Ebony League, but I just started referring to you know the school, and I started talking, I just came up with my own little thing called Ebony League. Okay. And what inspired, so Ebony League was inspired by the school, so right. when it came for your branding, for your merchandise, all of it is inspired by what specifically? Um, well, so I I started Ebony League, it was actually an offshoot of this nonprofit that I was running with um, a, a few friends of mine, it's called COPE, mm -hmm. and Ebony League was just a, um, a, 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 a division under COPE, okay. um, but then I decided to revamp it about three years ago. And you know when you're getting older and you like we're at that that point in our lives where we're old enough to be woke but not young enough to be out there marching. I, <laughs> right. I wanted to have a uh, I, w I call Ebony League a, an Intel Lounge, so it's a place okay. where people can go who are who still want to be connected to what's going on in our in the world and you know grassroots movements and things like that. But you know you might not be able to march, but you can support somebody who's marching. You may not be Absolutely. able to you know uh, uh, have a, a an outreach program, but you can support people who do have outreach programs. So it's a digital center point for people who just want to still stay connected to what's going on in, in our community. Okay, and why is entrepreneurship so important to you? Um, it's important to me for, for just for legacy. You know, um, my grandfather actually passed in May and, you know, he was an entrepreneur up until the day he died. And he used to always try to get me to run the business, run the business. And I was mm -hmm. like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. And looking back on it, I was like, man, I really should have done that. What type of business was it? It was a cleaning business. And okay. I actually, it was actually my first job. My mm -hmm. first job was when I was 12 years old. My mom, she didn't, she didn't, um, she's like, if you want designer clothes, you got to go out and, and uh, get you it. a job. I mm -hmm. thought designer clothes was an actual brand. <laughs> so I started. Shout out to Mama Marjorie. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. So I started working with my granddad. We used mm -hmm. to uh, do like apartments and stuff like that. And um, and that's how I bought my first pair of Nike cross trainers. Okay. You know what I mean? So, um, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that when I was, when he was like, you need to, you're going to go to school, you're going to major in business and you're going to run the business. Right. I didn't see it from the, from the other side of it, which was establishing, you know, a way for him to retire and, right. you know, not having to actually go out there and, and be stabbed, but you can set it up where you can bring people on and things like that. That's right. So I wanted to have a legacy for my for my kids mm -hmm. to be able to, to, to take to the next level, you know, when, I, when I'm out of here. So, you know, that's legacy is important to me when it comes to entrepreneurship. Okay. Now, amongst your many talents, so <laughs> you know, you're a singer, writer, human thesaurus, <laughs> you know. So who are some of your... Um, Song inspiration, not song inspiration, musical but inspiration. Uh, musical inspiration. Yeah, uh, Boys, Boys to Men for sure. Um, Bobby McFerrin. Uh, oh wow! Take, okay. Take Six. Um, uh, Marvin Gaye. Yeah, those okay. are my those are my top four. Let me ask you this, because you know Bobby McFerrin and Rochelle Farrell, they both were the ones that made me realize you can use your voice as, as an, an instrument. instrument. Absolutely. So if you had those two, Bobby who McFerrin. you going with? He's, really? That's the OG. Yeah, but that's Rochelle like, got them notes yeah, too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bobby, Bobby, that's that's the old, like he he does stuff that's like, yeah, it's not even human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it's well, you know who else does? What? Layla Hathaway. She does. Man, listen. She does. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, Bobby was the first person. Bobby McFerrin was the first person that could do. I've ever heard harmonize two notes at one time, mm -hmm. and then I heard Layla uh, Hathaway do. I was like, okay, I guess yeah, it's like, like a, I should, it's, it's an a alien thing. thing or something. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I never heard that. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. 
All right, so with this musical background, mm -hmm. if you had a vocal battle, so what we're going to do, I'm going to give you two artists. Okay. If you had to pick who you're going to go in to sing, sing for you, you're going to pick which one. Okay. All right. Jasmine Sullivan or Brandy, who you sending in there? You know, that's a, that's a tough one because Brandy is, in my opinion, the greatest alto that ever lived. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Jasmine, she just, her voice sounds like collard greens and cornbread and, you know, your mama's pain and <laughs> your grandmama's, you know. <laughs> she had a praying grandmother. That's right, what right, right. Her voice sounds like praying grandmama, so I got to go with Jasmine Sullivan. <laughs> okay, all right. We got Tamia or Shante Moore. Who are you sending in there? I got, I got to go Tamia. Um, okay. Yeah, she's. I like, I like a rich tone. Yeah. And um, and I just to me, his voice just it, it just has a, a richness to it. That. But she, but Shante got them notes though. She, I mean, she, her she, range is. She can hit those notes, but like she, she effortlessly. Can, she don't bring you to your knees though. No, it's not not me. Okay. I mean, she can sing. Like some people are just talented. They can they can sing. Right. But you know. When you got like that rich tone, you can kind of hear the story in somebody's voice. That's when you know. That's true. That's a sign. Like song. a Sam Cooke. You know? right, 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 exactly, exactly. All right. Oh, this one gonna get you. Okay. Usher or Avery Wilson? <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Usher got me through a lot. Got mm -hmm. me through a lot of uh, unwanted pregnancies and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, this I, is his confession. <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> right, legit. Like he was literally was like the the soundtrack to my life from like oh five to oh like, four to oh six. Anyway, um, <laughs> I got Avery is he's an alien, yeah. you know. But here's the thing: Avery doesn't have the the discography that okay. that that Usher has. So obviously they're they're just two different. But it's just sheer vocal ability. Right, now, Usher's that dude now. Yeah. But Avery, you is... know what? Let me ask you this then. Let's let's take Avery out the situation. Okay, I'm gonna throw in Mario. Ah, that's tough. Yeah, ah, I still gotta go Avery with that. But that's the, but Mario. Okay. I, I was sleeping on Mario until he came out with a uh, Mario. You should let me beast. love you. Know? Okay, hello. You know, Mario is a beast. Yeah, yeah. I would I would give the Avery just. It's, it's not even fair. Like he he and Jasmine have like. It's not even fair voices. Like why? <laughs> right. Why did God even make anybody else to be able to sing? Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, like they, they dropped yeah, them. You know what? Just, if if like, you're gonna why? go with three, that's not fair. I'm gonna say Jasmine Sullivan, Avery Wilson, Kiki White, hands down. Yeah, facts, facts. All right, last one. Fifty Tyson or Ice JJ Fish? Hey man, <laughs> gotta go with the JJ. JJ Fish is like the R&B radio. Like he's. <laughs> he is the R&B radio. Like man. he's the, <laughs> the way his confidence is <laughs> right. Mm. You can say he had a good support system. He might be in an old class and eating popcorn Man, all day. He got videos. I mean, he's killing the game. JJ Fish. Shout out JJ Fish, man. You know. I'm just <laughs> So yeah. we do also a little segment called Kiss or Diss on Can of Kisses TV. Okay. okay. I throw out celebrity crushes. You're going to say whether you're going to kiss or whether you're going to diss. Okay. All right. First one Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Or Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say or Jasmine Sullivan, Jill's, but apparently it's Jill Scott. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, unless it was like Jill Scott and Neil Long, then I would. Oh, I forgot awesome. you like Neil Long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but nah, Jill Scott. Okay. Yeah, I love her forehead. <laughs> she's, okay. She's yeah. Netflix and Jill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Monica or Brandy? Monica. Okay. And any particular reason? I just you know Monica. Monica just I think she she's easier on the eyes for me. You know, she's from the South Side. No, you know what's funny? <laughs> I don't know if you know him. Mo Williams is a comedian. And he was saying the only reason he didn't really feel with Brandy like that because she looks like a, um, a roach. But um, See, I might, you know what, she might then, come across this video one day. I'm not no, gonna but no, no. <laughs> Look, but it was some character we saw on, on some cartoon he was telling me when he told me what cartoon he was talking about. I was just like, you know what, you stupid. Because yeah, I, I can see the similarities. It's all like, about the eyes. The, the eyes! The eye the eye eye yeah, it's just some, it's just some it's just, alien. Ma it's like it's. it's Y'all ain't nothing. It's I'm not, tell you listen, straight you, up. You did this. I'm not saying you, <laughs> you don't. Did, you're it's not like the first alien one. koala bear type <laughs> situation. And and she, aliens can be. She uh, is a sweetheart. Yeah, I, mean, I don't doubt that. But you, you said Monica or Brandy. Well, I mean, I got. I, go with but I always both of them know go with Brandy though. If I always if I put her in a, a situation, I. I always wanted to know why men go the other way because yeah. it's not like she's not attractive. No, she's not. Yeah, you know. yeah, she's yeah, she's she's not unattractive. I just right. you said Monica or Brandy. Brandy, I mean Monica would be the easy choice for me. Okay. Yeah. Last one, Lonnie Love or Mother Love? Who you going? Who you kissing or who you dissing? Oh, so Lonnie Love is the comedian in front of you. Okay. 
So she's like the Sherry Shepherd. Shepherd of The View. Okay. No, I'm sorry, not the view. There. She's no, on the no, real. She's the on real. the real. Okay. That's oh, right. oh, oh. That's okay. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I don't even know who. <laughs> so what happens? Do I? Am I winning you have something? Because to... <laughs> <laughs> there gotta be some payment involved. I gotta. I will pay you no attention. I... <laughs> you better answer this question. I can't, I can't do. I can't do mother love. But you know, Lonnie mm. Love is. She younger though. I guess. I, I, well, at least Lonnie Love can make you laugh. It's not L- that funny. Lonnie by default. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's. Uh. All right. <laughs> we moving on along. <laughs> this has been another episode of Candy Kisses TV. But I do want to ask you one last question. Okay. Anybody that's in an industry or trying to be an entrepreneur, what would be some words of wisdom you would give them or motivation to give them to keep going? Exactly what you said. Keep going. No um, One thing that I like, I got a, a friend of mine who I remember when he started his business. Mm hmm. And he started when we were in college. Okay. And he kept going. Right. I did not keep going. Okay. And he's very successful now. Yeah. And and not to say that that's the only, you know, ingredient in that mix, mm-hmm. but you have to keep going. Like don't put Absolutely. a don't put a timetable. Don't say if I don't have it done in a year or if I'm not at this point in five years and I'm gonna stop. If it's something that's really you know, a, just a, a part like built into who you are, who your mm-hmm. what your life purpose is. Keep going and let the chips fall where they may. Even if you don't meet those marks, just keep going. You heard what he said. Shout out your Instagram and all your social handles again. Ebony League on Instagram, Ebony League Radio on Facebook. And make sure you go to Ebony League on Instagram immediately because he's going to be doing his stanky leg on there. I'm telling you. Well, I am champion. Oh, and also Ebony League clothing if you want to get some merch. I got real fly stuff on there. And I'm gonna beef it up to the just like we are. Hey. <laughs>